The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Here's a softball to get you started. What year did Arkansas become a state? What a day we have had. We have seen six state championships decided live right here on Arkansas PBS so far. And now we get to find out who will be our seventh Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association champion. If you're unfamiliar with Quiz Bowl, here's a refresher on the Quiz Bowl rules. A quiz bowl match is made up of four rounds. Round one. The first round is simply a 20 question toss up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two. Round two. Also features toss up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The third round is the lightning round. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each and if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20-point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. Okay. Round four is back to 20 toss-up questions. And now let's meet the teams for our 2A conference championship matchup between the Haas Hall Bentonville and Lifeway Christian teams. Hello, my name is Ethan Bailey. I'm a senior and I'm the captain of the Hustle Benville Quiz Bowl team. My name's Holland Glaze. I'm a senior and Quiz Bowl, I am the danger. Hi, my name is Pranav. I'm a junior and I'd like to give a shout out to all my Canadian musicians. I love you all. I'm Alex. I'm a junior at House Hall Bentonville. I'm also a certified lifeguard. Please don't hold your breath for a long time underwater. We can't tell if you've drowned. Uh, hi, I'm Jackson. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a junior, and uh, I fight for you, Bentonville. Hello, my name is Ming. I am a sophomore. And remember, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Hi, I'm Reese. Uh, I'm a 10th grader, and I'm going to sell propane and propane accessories when I'm older if my grades are good enough. My name is Shruthi. I'm a sophomore, and I'm not in the quiz bowl business. I'm in the empire business. My name is Dustin Bailey. I'm the volunteer assistant coach for Haas Hall Bentonville, and extremely proud for the kids, the work they've done this year, and hope they do their best today. I'm Anjanette Levingson. I'm the head coach for the team, and I just want to thank my family and our staff um, and teachers for all of the support that they've given to this team this year. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Peter. I'm in, I'm, I'm in 11th grade, and go Warriors. I'm Asa Fowler. I'm a senior, and shout out Benji. I'm Austin Sullivan. I'm in 12th grade, and the Foosh Master is back. My name is Connor Nowlin. I'm in 9th grade. Go Warriors. Hi, I'm Laura Tidwell. I'm the coach, and I always ask kids, what do you know? And I guess today we'll find out. We will find out what they know in our 2A conference. Bill, we've been here all day since early this morning, yes. and now we're at the 2A conference. What can we expect from these two teams? These two teams must be on a first name basis. I think <laughs> Haas Hall has been here four times in a row. And I think Lifeway Christian has been here three times in a row. So that wasn't really a joke. I think they really know each <laughs> yeah. other very well. It ought to be an exciting game. They're, I know they're well coached. Can't be otherwise. And even though some viewers may think, well, Haas Hall's played already. No, that was Haas Hall Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. This is Haas Hall Bentonville. <laughs> One other tidbit that tells us that these teams are really into quiz bowl is Lifeway Christian is going to New Orleans to the Nationals. Oh, wow. A lot of the teams that compete here in Arkansas will perform very well on the national scene. Says a lot about the Arkansas yes. teams. All right, well, let's get to it. So we are going to turn it over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson, and find out who will be the 2A state champion for Quiz Bowl 2023. Round one. 
Well, Christina, thank you very much. And as I stand here at our final game, I'm looking straight across from two beautiful trophies. And uh, so you are a winner no matter who wins this game. Uh, we're proud of our runner-up and we're proud of our champion. And uh, one of those will go home with your team. So that's pretty nice. All right. Uh, I feel like I know y'all uh, pretty personally, too, since I've seen you so much here at AETN. And it's good to see you back. All right. We're going to begin with our first toss-up question. What type of income tax takes a larger percentage of income? Uh, Holland. Progressive income tax. You're right. Question two, this vitamin's main role in the human body is to aid in changing carbohydrates into energy. Well, well, Alex. Vitamin B? No. Uh, what is this vitamin, also known as B1? No answer, it is thiamine, thiamine. All right, at eight, uh, in 1831, at only 22 years old, this man invented a two-wheeled horse-drawn chariot with a vibrating cutting blade that harvested <laughs> grain. Uh, Holland. McCormick. You're right. These winds develop when warm, moist air blows. <laughs> Holland. Monsoons. No. Uh, blows from the Pacific Ocean in the northwest region of North America toward the Rocky Mountain Range, then cools as it climbs the mountains, bringing snow or rain. What are these winds that share their name with a type of helicopter? Asa. Apache winds? No, they're Chinook. Chinook. All right, math computation. Factor x cubed plus two, uh, pardon me, x cubed plus x squared minus 25x minus 25 completely. Um, Emmanuel. Uh, quantity x plus five close quantity times open quantity x minus five close quantity times Open quantity X plus one, close quantity. That's correct. What is the name for the elements of group 2A on the periodic table that includes Emmanuel? Alkali earth metals. You are right. No, you are wrong. Sorry, Emmanuel. <laughs> Uh, that includes uh, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. Uh, Alex. Alkaline earth metals. That's right. In fact, they even have a note, don't accept alkali. All right, identify the adverb clause prepositional phrase in the following sentence. I am wide awake today because I drank coffee. Uh, Asa. Because I drink coffee? Yes. Which is not a prepositional phrase at all, but that's what they called it. Good job. All right. Let me flip to the next page of questions, and there they are. This Greek tragedy by Sophocles is the third of his Theban plays in order following <laughs> Emmanuel. Antigone. You're right. This lake on the German-Austrian-Swiss border is a popular... Uh, Alex. Lake Geneva? No. Is a popular resort area surrounded uh, by charming old world, world towns, fruit growing and wine production, and trout and salmon fishing. Identify the lake, the largest in Germany. Emmanuel. Lake Bavaria. It is Lake Constance, Constance, which doesn't sound very German to me, but all right. All right, from the French word for study, it often emphasizes technical skill. 
Name this type of solo musical composition most notably written for piano by Frederick Chopin. Uh, Holland. Nocturnes. No. Asa. Etudier. We're saying no. Sorry, Asa. Just etude. All right. <clears throat> What is the term for the center of mass of a geometric object of uniform density? Uh, Alex. Centroid. You're right. Question 12. This constellation in the northern hemisphere's winter sky represents the larger of Orion's two dogs who seem... Uh, Alex. Canis Major. You're right. This semi-autobiographical favorite child of author Charles Dickens, uh, Holland. Pip. No. Uh, is told in the first person by a middle-aged man looking back on his life. Identify this novel in which the title character runs afoul of his abusive stepfather, the sadistic Mr. Creakle, who runs the boarding school, uh, Connor. Over twist. No. I would have finished with and Uriah Heep, the primary antagonist, and it is David Copperfield. This 1648 CE treaty brought an end. Uh, Ethan. Treaty of Westphalia. No. Oh, they're saying yes. Okay. I never know what they're doing over there. I'll just, I'll just read along. Uh, it's known more commonly as the Peace of Westphalia, but uh, we can accept the treaty. That's a pretty good deal. All right, math computation for number 15. <clears throat> what is the value of z when quantity z plus 5, close quantity, divided by 6 equals the quantity z plus 3, close quantity, divided by two. All right, uh, Shruti. Z equals negative two. Say it for me one more time. Z equals negative two. Yes, that's what I thought you said, but I wanted to make sure. Uh, in uh, 2011, uh, the second best preserved of these instruments sold for $15.9 million, while the best preserved, nicknamed uh, the Messiah, uh, Shruti. Stradivarius violin. You're right. All right, this fictional character is a criminal mastermind created by Sir Conan Doyle, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, Alex. Moriarty. You are right. What is the geological term given for a vent in the Earth's surface from which hot gases and vapors are emitted? Emmanuel. Geyser. No. The answer is fumarole. Fumarole. All right, this powerful Italian family Okay, Holland? Medici. No. Uh, that produced two popes in the 1400 CE and many other church and political leaders was equally famous for their treachery and ruthlessness. Name this family that became the subject of a Showtime drama series that ran from 2011 to 2013. The answer is the Borgias, the Borgias. In government, what is the three word term that means all persons, including citizens, non-citizens, and government leaders are accountable to and must obey all laws? Well, it's simpler than it sounds. It's simply the rule of law. The rule of law. All right, and that was the last question in round one. Do, 
We have uh, Haas Hall with uh, 90 and Lifeway with 30. Do Okay, we're going to check for challenges and substitutions. Uh, and while we do that, we're going to Christina. Thank you, Steve. A lot more games still to play, but right now we're going to cut away briefly and do a bit of Quiz Bowl housekeeping. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. This month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. It is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm gonna walk until I ride. I'm gonna keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS video app or watch online. Welcome back to Quiz Bowl State Championships. We are on our last matchup of the day, and it is time for round two. So let's go over to the Quiz Master. Well, welcome back here to the studio at Arkansas PBS. And uh, Haas Hall and uh, Lifeway Christian have a great match going. And uh, Jackson has come in for Haas Hall Bentonville, so we're very glad to have him in. And uh, the same old four over here for Lifeway Christian, uh, getting the job done there with the just four. Um, okay, before we start uh, round two, let me put in a personal note, and that is how much we appreciate on the Governor's Quiz Bowl the work of Arkansas PBS and the crew behind the scenes that are doing such a great job. And uh, the board really appreciates them, and uh, they've made today a delight, really really to us. Okay. And with that, we're going to begin round two. Round two. All right. Math computation is going to start us off. Solve the inequality for G. Three times the quantity G plus four, close quantity, plus five, is less than negative 13. Hi, Emmanuel. G is less than negative 10. You're right. And you've won a bonus for your team with that. All right. <clears throat> your bonus is called computer scientists. Identify these computer scientists from a brief description. British mathematician who cracked the German Enigma machine. Turing. Turing? Yes. Father of the computer who created the analytical engine. Babbage? Yes. She published an algorithm for the analytical engine and is widely regarded as the first computer programmer. Lovelace? Yes. And British scientist who invented the World Wide Web in 1989 while working at CERN. Tim Berners-Lee. You managed to get all four of those uh, computer questions right. Good job. And you have uh, narrowed the gap between uh, you and Hassel Benville. All right, here is toss-up number 22 for both schools. In 1989, uh, Communist Romania, 17-year-old Christian Falescu is blackmailed by the secret police to become an informer, but risk everything to bring down the evil dictator. Nikolai Ceausescu, 
Name this historical thriller by Ruda Sapites. That is called I Must Betray You. Never heard of it either. All right. This, uh, the mountain pass lying between Afghanistan and uh, Jackson. The Khyber Pass. You're right, Jackson. And you've earned your team a bonus. And Ethan, he earned you a prom. Prom. Identify these items and customs related to attending the prom. Does House Hall have a prom? Yes, and it was the same day as state. As state. Oh, okay. So you've already had it. Yes. Visible for life. Well, here's the first question. Custom began in the 2010s of an elaborately staged request to be someone's prom date. A promposal. A promposal. Yes. Nice. <laughs> They're not so elaborate as they used to be. <laughs> uh, a floral decoration typically worn on the lapel of a tuxedo jacket. Corsage. No. It's corsage. 1986 movie in which Molly Ringwald makes her own dress to wear to prom. Pretty in pink? Yes. Well done, Jack. Traditionally, this high school class picks the prom theme and decorates the venue. It's the senior class. It's the juniors. Is that the juniors? It's the juniors. Just go on. Junior class? Juniors. Yes. All right. And the one that you missed uh, was not a corsage. It's called a boutonniere for the men. So, all right. But you got three right. So 25 points uh, for that effort. Good job. All right, we have two down and two to go. And let's see if we can get it with this toss up. This document written in 1620 CE, uh, Emmanuel. Mayflower Compact. You're right, Emmanuel. The Mayflower Compact. Good job. All right, and Emmanuel, you've won your team a bonus. If I can flip over to it. There you go. Called Holy Cities. Holy Cities. When given a description of a world city believed to be sacred to a major religious group, name the city. All right, according to the Christian Bible, this city in Israel is the birthplace of Jesus. Bethlehem. Yes. Burial site of Muhammad, the second holiest city in Islam after Mecca. Jerusalem. No. City in Israel sacred to Christians, Jews, and Muslims. Jerusalem. Yes. City where the Holy of Holies of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is located. Salt Lake City. Yes. All right, and the uh, burial site of Muhammad is Medina. Medina. All right, we have one bonus to go. And let's see which team can get it with this toss-up question. This organ produces the hormone which helps the human body use sugar for energy. Alex. The pancreas. The pancreas gets you a bonus. Good job. All right, and your, your uh, category is C author. C, the letter C. Uh, identify the authors of the following series, all of which, uh, all of whose last names begin with the letter C. <laughs> The Mortal Instruments. Claire. Claire. Yeah. Claire. Yes. Patriot Games. Clancy? Yeah. Clancy? Yes. Uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Carol. Yes. Uh, the Space Odyssey. That's Clark. 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 Yes. Got all four of those, so 30 points for that. And uh, you've taken us out of round two. And uh, so at the end of that uh, round, we have Lifeway with 85 and Haas Hall Bentonville with 145. But we have the lightning round to go, and that can really uh, turn things around sometimes. So we're going to take a break at this point. Uh, Christina, take it away. 
Thank you, Steve. Like you said, anything can happen in that lightning round. And so, of course, we will wait and see how everything plays out. So while we're waiting to see if there's any challenges or anything else. So obviously, these are state championships. So is yes. this it for all these teams, or can they go on to national levels? No, as we mentioned a moment ago, uh, Lifeway Christian is fixing to go to New Orleans. They're already making arrangements. A lot of these teams will be invited. We went to, when I was coaching, we went to Nashville to a national convention, a national tournament, mm. and we also went to Chicago uh, for wow. a national uh, tournament. They, they'll have several around. The one we went to in Chicago, they invited the top two teams from the state. Okay. And they kind of played which two, usually just the, you had to be either a state champion or a runner up to get to go there. Okay. But if 7A, said they would go, then they would take them, obviously. Okay. But we got to go and, and had a good time. Uh, we managed to compete against teams from New York and won. Wow. Uh, we competed against teams in Florida and won. Uh, in the past, we've had uh, superstars, or what we call all-stars, that have put a team together mm -hmm. from different schools in Arkansas. This is in the past, and they got to go and oh, compete. Wow! Well, as fun as this is, Chicago sounds great. Oh, so hopefully yeah, they yeah. can take take opportunities like that in the future. Okay, so it is time now to find out what the categories will be for the lightning round. So let's throw it back to the quiz master. Well, welcome back, and um, Lifeway Christian will get to choose uh, from our three categories first, and that will leave two more for Haas Hall Benville to uh, decide between. Um, but Emmanuel, you might choose con words. Identify each of the following terms from science, math, social study, and literature that begin with the letters C-O-N. All right, you might want plain speaking. From a brief description, identify the popular name of each of the following airplanes. And the third category is Greek mythology and astronomy. Identify each of the following moons and constellations whose names come from Greek mythology. Team, while you make your decision, here's a word from Arkansas PBS. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Want to see even more Arkansas stories? Subscribe to Arkansas PBS on YouTube for original productions, extras from your favorite local programs, behind the scenes videos, and our exclusive coverage of high school sports. All available on demand and all Arkansas made. Don't miss out on more great Arkansas stories. Subscribe now. The 2023 new member challenge is underway. We're over halfway to reaching our goal of gaining 2,023 new members by June 30th, which means we are closer to receiving the $25,000 challenge fund provided by individual donors and Arkansas businesses. If you recently became a new member or are already a donor to Arkansas PBS, thank you for supporting our station and the programs you love. If you are not yet a member, there is still time to help us reach our new member challenge goal. And we are back for the lightning round. The teams have made their choices, so let's turn it over to our quiz master for round three. Round three. 
All right, so while uh, y'all were on break, uh, Lifeway Christian chose their category of con words, all the words beginning with C-O-N. And then the Hasha Benville chose Greek mythology and astronomy. And um, Reese, you're in for the Hasha Bentonville folks, so good to have you. And uh, no changes over here, Emmanuel. All right. <clears throat> I believe we're ready to start the third round. So we're putting a minute on the clock, Emmanuel, and we're going to ask you to identify each of the following terms from science, math, social studies, and literature, all of which begin with the letters C-O-N. Ready? Yep. A lens that curves outward. Convex. Yes. Yeah. Tube for electrical wires to pass through. Conductor. No. In math, two figures with the same shape and Congruent. size. I'm sorry? Congruent. Yes. Changing a verb to list its different forms. Conjugate. Yes. Type of oven that circulates heated Convection. air. Yes. National legislative body in Congress. the... Yes. <laughs> Type of dye used to show abnormal areas in the body. Pass. A uh, secret plan by a group to do something unlawful. Conspire. Uh, yes. Merging two or more sets of information, usually in error. That's true. No. Uh, in 1979 to 1990, guerrilla force in Nicaragua opposed to the Sandistas. So that one will not pass over, uh, but you did well, and uh, we do have three to pass over, I believe, to the uh, Hassel Bittenfeld folks. Ethan, you ready? Tube for electrical wires to pass through. Conduit. Conduit. Yes. Uh, type of dye used to show abnormal areas in the body. Uh, uh, cat. No. Um, merging two or more sets of information, usually in error. Converge? No. That one is conflate, and the type of die is called a contrast die. Contrast die. All right. Now we have uh, Hassel Bentonville's. Uh, category and it's called Greek mythology and astronomy. We're going to put a minute on the clock and ask you to identify each of the following moons and constellations whose names come from Greek mythology. You ready, Ethan? Yes. God of fear, whose name is the larger of Mars's two moons. Phobos. Yes. Constellation of two large Syrian river fish who rescued Aphrodite and Eros from Typhon. Pisces. Uh, yes, warrior carrier to the, water carrier to the gods. Aquarius. Yes. Aquarius. Yes, largest moon of Saturn named for gods preceding Olympians. Titan. Yes, constellation named for the twins Castor and Pollux. Gemini. Yes, yes. largest moon of Jupiter named for a Trojan prince. Ganymede. 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 Yes, sky god and first ruler of the heavens, seventh planet in the solar system. Uranus. Yeah, yeah. Uranus. Yes. Half man, half fish, largest of Neptune's moons. Triton. Triton. Yes. Called the tenth planet, this large ice object is named for the goddess of discord. Eris. Eris. Yes. Moon of Pluto, named for the ferryman of souls Karen. across. Karen. The... Yes. So all ten are correct. <laughs> All right, that's the fourth time today we've had uh, that happen. All right, so uh, at the end of that uh, round of play, Hassel Benville with 275 because they get the 20-point 20, the 20 bonus, and Lifeway Christian with 145. So still a great game, and uh, we're going to toss to Christina while we make substitutions.
Remarkable that we've now had five teams that have actually answered all 10 of those lightning round questions correctly and gotten the bonus. So incredible students that we have seen competing here today. Stick around, don't go anywhere because we've got to wrap up this round coming up next. This month on Arkansas PBS. After a miniature village is opened, a man is murdered. It would appear that poor Joe knew his assailant. Broken neck. Question is, did she fall or was she pushed? An 80-year-old woman is murdered. The last time I spoke to her, she was about to go into the wood. The shoes are getting closer together. I need your help. Dr. Jane Halifax, there is something else going on. Analyze everything. Only on Arkansas PBS. During the past year, we've been traversing the natural state with our cinematic drone from lakes and rivers, waterfalls, scenic byways, mountains, swamps, overlooks, and towering rock formations. This unique documentation of all four seasons from all four corners of the state with an aerial cinematic perspective will give you, the viewer, an Arkansas adventure like never before, exploring Arkansas from above. Download the PBS video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Mexico is my heart. The United States is now my home. And in the space between is La Frontera. Each week we travel the country north to south, east to west, exploring some of the most exciting gardens. Culture shock isn't a bad thing. It's the growing pains of a broadening perspective. Come grow with us. Only on Arkansas PBS. This month on Arkansas PBS. Three icons of style. Oh my God. Find ancestors who sacrificed. You lived in a cave. That's unbelievable. And survived. Four international stars retrace their family footsteps across the globe. The world changed because of Hank Williams' songs. The songs are just life. I've seen it or I've lived it. Only on Arkansas PBS. New documents are being digitized every day. And every day, the DNA databases get bigger. Sometimes the most moving revelations come from the paper trail. Sometimes some of the most shocking revelations come from DNA. I think I found out a little bit too much. <laughs> That's what makes us special. The magical way that we combine genealogical research with genetic research. And we're the first program in the world to do that. Without your support, there would be no Finding Your Roots. And without your support, there would be no PBS. the final matchup and it is now time for the final round so for that we head over to quiz master Steve Patterson well uh, welcome back to the studios here we have an exciting game going here and uh, Hasha Benville has brought Jackson in for this uh, last round so good to see you Jackson and um, Lifeway same folks uh, good to have y'all though all right with that, we can begin round four. Round four. All right, this German-born English composer of the late Baroque era is noted particularly for his operas, instrumental compositions, and occasional pieces such as water music. Uh, Alex. Franz Josef Handel. No. Uh, and music for the Royal Fireworks. Name this composer of the Oratorio Messiah, which includes the Hallelujah Chorus. Asa. Um, Mendel. No, it's George Frederick Handel. I don't know who that other guy was. <laughs> uh, math computation. What is the axis of symmetry of y equals 13x squared minus 39x plus 4? Emmanuel. X equals negative 3 halves. No. Alex. X equals 39. I have x equals 3 halves, no negative. All right. 
science competition, uh, computation, excuse me, to uh, follow that. To the nearest gram per mole, what is the molar mass of carbon dioxide? All right, Ethan. 28.01 grams per mole. No. Emmanuel. 44 grams per mole. Yes. The wreck of this span of this British pirate's ship. Emmanuel. Blackbeard. You're right. I don't know how and what little I gave you, but good job. Uh, in 1632 CE, uh, Cecilius Calvert was granted a charter for this land. Emmanuel. Maryland. Maryland is correct. This thermodynamic quantity is equal to the internal energy of a system plus the product of pressure and volume. What is this state function with the symbol H? which is equivalent to the total, Emmanuel. Planck's constant? No, to the total heat content of a system. Alex. Thermal energy? Enthalpy, enthalpy was what we were looking for. Math computation. Which three consecutive integers have a sum of 42? Emmanuel. 13, 14, and 15. You're right, Emmanuel. All right, what is, the, uh, what is the comparative form of the adjective far? Ethan. Further. Yes. I could, uh, farther was what we were looking for, but uh, further is uh, another way to say it. This play examines the complexities of the marriage of a middle-aged couple as they fight and try to humiliate each other in front of their newlywed guests, Nick and Honey. Name this Edward Albee play, uh, Ethan. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? You're right. This man became a follower of Elijah Muhammad when, while he was in prison. Uh, Shruti. Malcolm X. Yes, Malcolm X is the correct answer. In mathematics, what is the term for an arrangement of objects in which the order does not matter? Holland. Permutation? No. Emmanuel. Combination. Combination was what we were looking for. All right, question 42. What is the term given to non-woody plants which survive more than two growing seasons uh, Alex. Perennial. You're right. Question 43 is a math computation. What is the perimeter of a square whose area is 225 square feet? Ethan. 60 feet. Ethan, very fast and correct all at the same time. Uh, all right, we have a timeout called by the Haas Hall team, and that's a 30-second timeout. And Lifeway, you may confer with yours if you want to. Here we are in a timeout <laughs> once again, and I'm sure they're doing the math when they look yes. at the scoring yes. and kind of explain what will be happening now behind us as they have these substitutions. Yeah, what they're doing is they're letting the players that just exposing them to what this is going to be like to play later. And coaches do this all the time. Uh, I have seen some coaches that don't. They just push it on to the end. But both of these teams, very accomplished. Yes. I mean, lots of, lots of knowledge. They've got the wealth of knowledge. Uh, and there's two or three up there that are pretty outstanding. Absolutely, and for Lifeway, they haven't had any substitutions. This is the four of them that have been there the whole time, and that is a lot on them, but they're doing an absolute great job. Excellent job, excellent job. This has been a really good game. Uh, all day long, we have seen students that have excelled. Yes. I, I mean, all day. And this is coming from the knowledge, primarily the knowledge they gained in the classroom. 
yep. which says right. our schools are doing a great job. What a great point yep. made. So shout out to all the teachers and administrators and everyone who helps these students along. The timeout has been completed, so let's send it back to the quiz master. Well, welcome back after that timeout. Each coach is allowed one timeout in a game. And uh, during that timeout, uh, Hassel Bentonville has brought in Ming and uh, Reese is back and uh, Pranov is back as well from the first round. So good to have you all back. And then over here with Lifeway Christian, the same four. <laughs> but they're good ones. All right, here we go with the rest of the game. Question 44. When Mexican troops stormed this mission on the morning of March 6th, uh, Ethan. The Alamo? Yes. This era ended with a massive meteorite impact that caused a mass extinction. Uh, Alex. Cretaceous period. No. Wiping out the dinosaurs and 80% of all life on Earth. Name this era that included the Triassic. Emmanuel. Mesozoic. Mesozoic is correct. When she refused to perform a U-turn in her response to liberalization of the economy, this first female prime minister, Ethan. Thatcher. Yes. All right, question 47. This American landscape photographer and environmentalist was uh, Asa. Adams. Adams is correct. All right, in March 2023, Two large banks in the United States with uh, Ethan. Silicon Valley Bank? No. With the significant exposure to the technology sec sector, or the cryptocurrency failed while another intent entered liquidation. What government agency announced at the founding of the bank term funding program that would offer loans of up to one year in length to banks and other eligible inst institutions. ASA. The SEC? No. It is the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve. What is the French word for the final part of a story that time? Uh, Pranav. Denouement. You're right. In what novel about a pandemic in the Algerian city? Uh, Panov. The Plague. Well, you came in at just the right time, didn't you? That's right. And that was the last question of the day. All right. Looking at our scores, it looks like uh, Lifeway Christian has a 215, and that's enough for them to be our first runner-up in uh, Class 2A. And Hassel Bentonville, with your 365, you are the state champion in Quiz Bowl 2023. All right, we're gonna to go to Christina and then we'll be back here in the studio. Thank you, Steve, and congrats to both teams. You know, Bill, you were making a great point about the manners and the respect. We're dealing with teenagers here. Yes. And what yes. an incredible showing that they have given us today. This is not unlike any quiz bowl activity that you see. Mm. You're gonna hear, yes ma'am, no oh. ma'am, yes sir, no sir. They're extremely well-mannered students and that's expected mm -hmm. and they know it. Absolutely. I mean, they're just they're just great kids. And we've already thanked the teachers and administrators and staff and want to thank the parents as well and for taking them to and from the practices and all that it takes. So thanks to everybody who has poured into these kids. We are going to take a quick break, but first let's take a moment to meet some students that we might see here on this stage in a few years. Here are the 2023 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs and High Point players.
Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. This month in... Congratulations to both teams and all the coaches and everybody involved with this final match of the day. And of course, we're back with Carolyn Shry and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association. Let's do the final awards. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. So we have our second place team over here, Lifeway Christian. They get the second place uh, plaque that stands up. <laughs> <laughs> and they also get a check for $1,500, a big one they can put on the wall, and then a real one that they can actually cash. <laughs> then we have a first place team, and who wants to hold this? Oh, maybe the captain. Uh -huh. First place for uh, Haas Hall Bentonville, and you get a big check for $3,000 that you can show on the wall, as well as one to actually cash, and your banner to hang as well. Perfect. Then there's never really been any question <laughs> since back at the state level, or probably before even, of who the uh, MVP over ball was going to be, because he was like averaging oh 15 points every on the average every game or more, and of course it's Emmanuel Peter. <laughs> so you get both of those. Then we have a few other all tournament players who are from all around the state, as well as possibly, oh, I think there's one or two of us from around here, maybe two, we'll see here in a minute. We have Emmanuel uh, over here from Lifeway Christian, then Bryce Mallett from St. Joseph, Alex Bowler from Haas Hall Bentonville, you are on there, uh, Parker Carroll from East Poinsett County, Lane Harper from Hazen, Dylan Dedman from Ryzen, Zane Newton from Acorn, Ethan Bailey from Bentonville Haas Hall, Rachel Nagai from Haas Hall Springdale, and Carson Rose, Buffalo Island Central. Those are our all-tournament team for this level of 2A schools, and this is our last game of the day, and we are excited, and they are excited, so Congratulations, everyone. Absolutely. One more round of applause for everybody. And Carolyn, thank you so much. And on behalf of everyone with the association, we thank you very much. And that is a wrap for Quiz Bowl 2023. Seven matches and seven champions. We want to thank everyone involved with pulling this tremendous undertaking off. There are so many people helping behind the scenes, volunteering their time on a Saturday to make these broadcasts go as smoothly as possible. We could not do this without all of them. So thank you very much. And of course, we want to thank you for watching. We hope to see you again back here next year.